iconic, era-defining fashion, high-level musicianship, plus hits, right? Hey. Album sold hundreds of millions of them, if you can, but more important than all of those elements, you need a sense of what I, I like to call the, uh, the CSF. Cool, sophisticated fun. What? You know who's got that in spades, Duran Duran? I think it's important that 
people see you at the same time at that game. Yeah. You've got the bandits, you've got the records, you've got the last performance, and now you've got video. Something really new and really exciting. The first time I saw girls on film, we were just kind of like, what is this? Like, what's happening? It was just so arty, and they had these different kinds of outfits and hairdos and makeup that you couldn't help but just be fascinated. but we hadn't broken through in America. We couldn't get through to anybody, but fortunately, with the advent of MTV, they wanted to show new bands, and when they did, the radio stations picked up on us, and Hungry Like the Wolf broke through. Yeah. Because of the exposure left like in this country 24 hours a day, the people were going to start knowing more about the way I grew up. Right 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 Everywhere you looked, it was like you could see Duran Duran in every wall, on everybody's outfit. Their style, their music, everything that they did just became huge. We've always sort of written songs together, the five of us, just bashing things out until we reach some point and say, okay, now we've got something, we'll build on that.
Seems anyone hand across the bridge at midnight. Heads turning cause the lights flashing out are so bright. So we walk right up to the bar and check this camera rolling. I've had that. I've had that. And I sense the ring of harmony and a frenzy all the way to the spine. Girls on film. Girls on film. Not any longer the wonderful world of spontaneous rock and roll. We were <laughs> Now we've done that. You can leave it there if you like. Uh, should we start again? Yeah. 
into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's nothing that comes close to such recognition. You can dream about what happened to us, but to experience it on one's own terms as mates was beyond incredible. Just over four years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic prostate cancer. Many families have experienced the slow burn of this disease, and of course, we are no different. So I speak from the perspective of a family man, but with profound humility to the band, the greatest fans a group could have, and this exceptional accolade. I'm truly sorry. I'm massively disappointed I couldn't make it. Let there be no doubt, I was stoked about the whole thing. Even bought a new guitar with the essential whammy. <laughs> I'm so very proud of these four brothers. I'm amazed at their durability, and I'm overjoyed at accepting this award. I'm sure as hell glad I'm around to see the day. All my love. being inducted tonight and previously who have dedicated our lives to in order to achieve. In times that seem increasingly divisive, music is something which can overcome such issues as race, politics and gender. Music, music brings people together. Over the 40 years I've been working, I've come to believe that the essence of our job is this. We get to make people feel better about themselves. Yeah. This is an industry that I am proud to be a part of. Thank you. Duran Duran over the past 40 years. 
and that's the musicians, the producers, the managers, the agents, the record companies, the technicians, the stylists, the filmmakers, I mean there's so many, it just goes on, the publishers as well, thank you to our publishers, and I'd just like to thank our families for being with us for the whole journey through thick and thin, and it's been thinner time, so thanks to the families. So. few years later, we're still together, but actually it's been quite a long marriage, I guess. Sort of married to three people, some people call it polygamy, but it's just a man. And, um, you know, we're all driven by fans. Uh, John read out a list of a lot of the fans that influenced us. Another one I'd like to mention is the New York Girls. They were super important and they were on the ballot this year. They didn't make it in, but I really hope they do. And all I really want to say is thank you to all the fans. We know what it's like being a fan. Thank you for that. We have to love to That's what we're here. Thank you. We share these awards with you. 